Early in the morning. Oh, sorry, boy. Oh, sorry, 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 boy. Sorry. Hey. Oh. <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to. Alright, cool. What's going on, the people? They miss your boy. Get <laughs> off. Hey. 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 I love you too, boy. It's okay. It's okay. What's going on, the people? They miss your boy. Cam Topical Juice, and it's currently seven minutes past eleven. Thank God for technology, because I was at, at the cinema today, all the way in Islington. So I was going to be very late. I just got home now, so I would have just started watching the episode now. But thank God for technology that your boy can watch it on his phone and get straight back here and start recording. Let's get straight into this video, man. Like the video for me. Hit the bell to be notified for me. Sorry, I'm sweating. It's been a long evening, and uh, like all of that, all of that. Let's get into this, man. Just a short video. So. I'm not gonna lie to you, this episode was boring, and that's the way I really wanted it to be. Billy and Summer get dumped. We predicted that, didn't we, guys? We predicted that still. I believe their logic makes sense. I believe it does make sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Now, I know Danique has been saved before, and she's had chances to meet people, meet people, meet people. At the end of the day, she's throwing herself into it. Yes, she went for people like Jay and Luca, who she should never have gone for. So I'm not really adding, I'm not really, I'm not really counting that in the five that she feels rejected by. I'm really gonna make it three. But the fact that she's put herself out there and really taken chances, taken leaps of faith, tested herself, she has to stay. Danique is one of the most popular girls in the villa. She had to stay, simple as. Now, Dami, yeah, questions, what did I do to be in the bottom? Are you fucking dizzy, blood? What do you mean, what did you do to be in the, you know what? Whatever, Dami, you'll see on reflection when you watch the series back what you did um, to be in the bottom three. Now, you may not realize what you did because the, the, the things that you did, the big things that you did were probably spaced out in your experience. You have to remember, he's always there 24 seven. So 90% of the time, he's probably popular amongst the people and great. But that 10% that we've seen maybe, it's wild. Even though I'm, I don't believe it was 10%, I believe he's literally wild all the time to be honest. But he clearly is shocked that the public are now thinking, oh. it's funny because I actually thought he was smart enough to realize that his actions were on the edge, on the knife edge of being controversial, but he genuinely thinks he doesn't, he didn't do anything wrong. He's like, what did I do? But one thing I am happy about is Dami was embarrassed for India. Exactly the same as me. I was embarrassed for her. I was thinking, damn, you're in the bottom two. How does that look to, to your gal? She's probably thinking, rah, what are the public seeing that I'm not seeing? But India, he's, she's too good for him. She is so good at reassuring him and saying stuff like, I'm not dating the public, am I? You're dating me, you get me? So don't worry about what the public think. Just worry about what I think, rah, rah, we squashed it. She is so reassuring. Everything he couldn't do, she did for him. It's a shame. Now, Paige and Adam, by the way, have certainly done most things apart from sex already. You can see under the covers every single night, they are, you can see, he, you can see the body language, you know? I've been there in my life before when you're, about to get hot and heavy with a, a woman, the body language, he's usually on top. He's probably fingering her in most of those, in most of those, um, most of those clips, I can't lie. He's, they've definitely been getting some action. Now, they recap on the night and Dami says he felt bad for India. I've already said that. Davide and Ekinsu are talking about how they're getting closer and Davide's finally opening up about his feelings. Now, the, the reason Davide has been taking long to open up about his feelings is because Davide knows on the outside it's not gonna work. I can tell you that for free, guys. I think they both know that. Yo, Wild Greasy. Sorry guys, so I was just uh, taking a call there from my... Uh, big up Lowe's, man, my guy. I, I can't remember what I was talking about before, but Deji and Danica talk. And guys, <laughs> how can I say 24 hours ago, even though Billy's going tomorrow, yesterday, she still ain't gonna give Deji a sniff. What happened? She's shutting down. Yeah, shut down, eh? Trust me, daddy. It's very, very, very disappointing that Deji is going outside, but you know what? I feel like Deji, Deji had deeped it over the last day that she ain't interested. And I think he was like, you know, I, I want to put 100% in, but you're not going to push, put nothing back. So it's a bit techy still. Adam and Paige are talking and she's talking about how oh, I initiate kisses, rah, rah, rah. And he says, yeah, this is quite interesting because he said in the confessionary, he, she ticks boxes for now. I can't see myself going anywhere. Excuse me. The way he said that almost gave me like a, a little bit of a concern that he's not really taking Paige that serious. Now, don't get me wrong. This is me being hyper-psychological, uber-psychological, because everything else he's showing is that they're, in, that they're good for each other, they're interested in each other, they're, they're rah, 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 but that one little, that one little sentence he said, maybe I read into things too much, but then again, 
I don't come kind of smart. So it's one of them ones, yeah. I just feel that one little sentence just showed me a little bit something different. But who knows? Maybe I am overthinking it. Anyway, Andrew and Tasha are basically happy they're not going home. I appreciate that. Now, even though I don't think Tasha should have ever cried as much as she did for being in the bottom three, I am happy for her mental health sake, for her sake, for her and Andrew's relationship. I'm happy that they weren't in the bottom three because you can see the adulation in her face. You can see the delight in her face. She genuinely is relieved that she's not in that bottom three. I'm happy for them. Yeah, it is what it is. Even Luca in the pool was saying stuff to, to um, Gemma, like how he wants to double date them, how they're good for each other, good couple. Why did the tone change, bro? Why did the tone change? Yeah? You were bullying the other day, but um, also the, 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 this whole idea of the producers telling their man to apologize is cap, by the way. I do not believe that in the slightest. The, the timeline doesn't make sense. The, the producers wouldn't be able to tell them to apologize when they're already two days in front of us. You know what I'm saying? So them man definitely apologize on their own behalf, especially as the producers don't want to nullify any natural conversation. Even though they frame and shape and kind of stage certain things, they prefer as authentic as possible. So they would rather them not apologize and it be more dramatic than them apologize and it be whatever, safe, PC. Fam, I swear that I swear down fam. That didn't even feel like the wind blood. That felt like a ghost or something. Poor guy's or something. Davide talks about his feelings getting stronger and stronger. Oh yeah, that's it. That's what I was talking about. Ekinsu and Davide. Oh shit, yeah. Shit, that was like 20 minutes ago. But yeah, either way, yeah, Davide, he, they know they're not going to work on the long term, on the outside. They know that. Trust me, because at the end of the day, yeah, their dynamic is inside the villa. Yes, they've got chemistry. It's undeniable. Yes, I think they could be good friends. But in reality, once this villa bubble bursts, they are not going to be together, bro. I'm telling you that for, for free. I've been pretty bang on, to be honest, when it comes to predictions of couples. And they are not made for each other. Granted, the chemistry is good. I ain't going to lie to you. They do get on. You know, I would like to see them in the final. But it's not going to work long term. I just know it, bro. I know it. I, I will never not. I will never get over what I initially saw. I always trust my, trust my gut. And no matter what they show us, they're not compatible for the long term. Now, the New Islanders come into the villa and I think, I can't even remember their names, I'm not gonna lie to you, because I, I could, I think it's Lacey, the footballer who plays for Halifax, a 27 year old who gave up his professional football dream to become a fucking reality TV star, are you mad? I think your priorities are all in the wrong place, bro, unless you're injured, and to be fair, Trusay is 27 years old, so he's, he's coming to the end of his football career, kind of. Anyway, um, so Lacey comes in, um, the girls are pretty in my thought, to be fair, I'm not really attracted to the South American one as much, either way, I'm not really attracted to both of them, but. I can appreciate prettiness and I think they are quite pretty. But Lacey, I think it is in, into Luca Andrew Davide, the footballer who said, fam, how many times, yeah, are we gonna hear, I'm not afraid to step on toes. If I see something, I'm gonna get it. Bro, come with some new lyrics, bro. It's literally sounded like some generic beta basic gal. You know, the ones there, just want any chick that's just coming in. I'm like, yeah, I'm not here to make friends. Eh, eh, eh. Bro, come with some new bars, for real. Natalia's looking at Adam and Davide and Reese. You know, we've got to get our square head mixed race boy quarter field. So, I mean, true say there hasn't been no mixed race square headed ones in this series. So, well done, Love, love Adam, for listening to us. Maybe the factory could close down where they get them from. They've dug up some next lighty. Uh, called Reese, who's into Gemma Ekansu, blah, 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 blah. Um, he, he ain't turning no heads, I can tell you that. And that's all I've got to say for this episode, guys. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. It was a lot shorter than, uh, yeah, the episode was just quick, speedy, and um, I, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't even know who I can give Donut of the Day to. I don't know who I can give Donut of the Day to. Guys, let me think spontaneous, spontaneous. Who can I give Donut of the Day to? Who can I give Donut of the Day to? Ah, oh, shit. Is it, is it the footballer for these dead bars? <sighs> I don't even know. Is it Deji? Is it Deji for getting pied by? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, what's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be, Kobe? Ah, fam, you know what? It's Dami. Fuck it. Dami is donut of the day for not having no introspection and not being able to understand and identify why he would be in the bottom three. That's all I've got for you today, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.